Fellas, I'm going to be talking about uh, 25 characters of the Spoon River Anthology. The first character we have is Hot Putt. Um, he was a poor man and um, he was hung for a crime and he ended up bankrupt and he did not like the rich people and they ended up bankrupt just like he was. And then we have Ollie McGee um, whose husband her whole life stole her youth from her and her good looks and um, she haunts him and his, his guilt avenges Ollie for him taking her youth away from him. And then we have Fletcher McGee who was married to Ollie McGee and is the guy that took her youth away from her and he pretty much killed her his wife and she now haunts him for that. Then we have Robert Fulton Tanner um, he was bitten by a rat which killed him and he imagines himself in a trap and caught by the ogre of life which is kind of scary to think about. Then we have Cassius um, Heifer um, he has the wrong epitaph written on his headstone and it did say that he had a good life and that everything went well for him but he says it was not a good life that he suffered a lot and then we have Sarepta Mason um, she had a, she could have had a good life and she describes her life like it was a blooming flower it would have bloomed very well except for some wind that would not allow her to bloom and she tries to warn the living but they're foolish and they don't li listen to her then we have Amanda Barker, which is a sad story. Uh, her husband got her pregnant knowing that she would not be able to birth a child and still live. And everyone thought that Henry loved her like a good husband, but she knew that she did that out of hatred. And then we have Constance Haley. Um, she had a sister, and she, her sister had kids, and for some reason she couldn't take care of her anymore, so she took in those two kids. And everybody thought she was a hero for doing this, but she was not proud of doing it. She began to dread their dependence on her. And then we have Chase Henry. Uh, he was the town drunkard, and no one um, respected him as a living. And, but when he died, he found respect and honor as when he was buried next to some honorable people. And then we have Henry Corey Goodhue. He fought against corruption in Spoon River and most of the time they lo he lost to uh, all the business people and respected people. And now Spoon River pays the price for the corruption with prohibition. And Harry is actually a spiritual brother with Chase Henry. <clears throat> and then Judge Somers. He had a respectable life as a judge and did justice most of the time. And he ended up buried with an unmarked and, and with unmarked grave, and he became forgotten. And he um, is jealous of Chase Henry actually, because Chase Henry has a respectable and honorable grave, while Judge Summers is left forgotten. Then we have Benjamin Pantier. Um, he was living with his wife, but he got hurt by her when she pushed him out, and he was left to live with his dog Nig. And it was just the two of them until they died. And then um, Mrs. Benjamin Pantier, which was, was her and Mrs. Benjamin, or Mr. Benjamin Pantier were married, but they became separated. She, uh, all the people she knew were pitied Benjamin Pantier, but she said that how could she live with him when he was the very guy that disgusted her, and so she drove him out. And then their son, Reuben Pantier, she, or he is in love with Emily Sparks and cannot stop thinking about her, which is ironic because he's off with someone he doesn't love pretending to love her. And then Emily Sparks is actually Reuben Pantier's teacher, and um, she tries to help Reuben by sharing her faith and spreading the gospel to him and hoping um, he can be saved with Christ. Connor. Was that it? Yeah, that was some pretty interesting people and characters in this story. And after that, we have the we have trainer the druggist. Um, and he has a metaphor with the pantiers and describes them with the chemicals he used. And he actually ends up killing himself on accident in an experiment he was performing. And then we have Daisy Fraser. And she calls out the people 
in Spoon River for being selfish and only thinking about themselves. And she said that um, she supported the school funds, which makes her not selfish. And then there's Benjamin Fraser, who is married to Daisy Fraser. And his whole life he was tortured by these spirits that wouldn't leave him alone. And eventually he crushed them and brought them to a land unknown to stop his suffering because of spirits. And then Minerva Jones, she was a village poetess, and her whole life she was mocked, and no one liked her, and she was eventually killed by Butch Weldy, and her wish is to have all the poems she wrote in the newspapers to be collected and put in a volume. And then we have Indignation Jones, who is the father of Minerva Jones, and he claims that they, her, his family, have pure her heritage than anybody else in Spoon River, um, Spoon River, but was poor his whole life because of the harsh treatment the people gave to him. Then we have Dr. Myers. Um, he had the good life, and he was a kind-hearted man, and everybody liked him. But he was actually brought down when he failed to save Minerva Jones from dying. And his wife, My Mrs. Myers, um, they're married. He, uh, she died of a broken heart when um, his, her husband went down um, because she couldn't save Minerva. And all the newspapers lied about Dr. Myers, which she um, did not like. And she told the people to hold the commandments instead of lying. And then we have Butch Weldy, who killed Minerva. And in his story, he uh, was at his job and working with gas, and one day it exploded, and he severely injured himself and actually became blind. And then we have Nolte Hoheimer. He was in the army, and he died at the Battle of Missionary Ridge, and he wished he would have rather stayed home and um, got convicted for stealing the hogs and been in jail instead of dying at the battle. And then we have Lydia Puckett, who was, her, her and Noel Holheimer were together, but she cheated on him, and she ended up being the whole reason Holheimer went to the army and died at the battle. And then lastly, we have Frank Drummer. Um, he was in jail for 25 years or so, and everybody was making fun of him, and he thought he was justified in trying to memorize the entire encyclopedia. And that's all 25 characters.